Hello everyone, here's a quick tutorial on Superman, and I work with uh, pastel pencils, Karen Dosh pastel pencils. Here we are working on the suit. What The first thing I do is I add a base layer blue, and on top of that I'll start adding uh, darker colors, and then after I start adding my darker values, then I'll start adding highlights, like a light blue, um, and then we'll go all the way up to, on certain areas, pure white. I use General Charcoal's white pencil for the bright parts. And on the skin, we start with the base flesh tone skin color. Then we add a little burnt sienna to it. And we add a little pinks and um, a little bit of dark browns. Here we are working on the Superman logo. And we're starting out with a, with a red color. And for the highlights, we'll add some pink and then some white on top of that. And for the insignia, we got a few yellows in there. Working on the cape, um, just doing the same thing. Here we are back to the suit. Make sure you get all the suit details in. Before you start coloring it, you want to get all those little wrinkles and you want to get all your little areas, your highlights that you're going to put in. And I'm just doing the same thing, adding a base color blue. And then I'll start adding some darker blue on top of that. And then I'll start adding some lighter blues. And then on the brightest parts, as you can see, I start adding white. And we just go all around doing that. And here we go on the same thing on the, on the hands. Base flesh tone, add some pinks, add some burnt sienna, add some darker browns. You want to make sure those values are right. And working on the belt, we just add um, a few yellows, and in order to darken that yellow, I'll use a, a brown. And brown works really good when darkening yellow. And then for highlights, we'll add a few little uh, white on top of the yellow. And getting more down to the red area on his uh, underwear, I have added a little bit of pinks to the base tone, uh, base tone red in order to give it a few highlights. Here we are working on a little bit of lens flare and back to the Superman suit. Same thing as before, base blue, dark blue, light blue, and then white. And try not to blend too much. You want to keep a lot of the texture in there because the texture really gives it gives it depth. And starting on his uh, left leg, working on the upper area. Here we go, adding a few uh, light blues, a few wrinkles on top of that. Make sure you you um, color in those wrinkles after you've done the main the main foundation of the leg. So here we go, some light blues, dark blues, medium blues, blend them in. I'll use a blending stump to blend a lot of the colors in. But don't blend too hard, blend very lightly. And for the red boots, base red, a little bit of black for the seams, and a darker red for the for the darks, same on his cape. Here we go working on the uh, lens flare. And when you've got the sun behind something, you want to add a little bit of oranges on top of that. As you can see, I've added some orange right where the lens flare, the sun hits. And this is all the same thing, just adding uh, the base base red tone on top of that to lighten it, use a pink. And on top of that pink, use a little bit of white. And of course, a little bit of a uh, dark red for the darker areas. I mixed in a little black right here because it was very, very dark. Same thing going around to the other side. Same thing we did on the left side. Base red tones, um, darker reds, pinks for the, for the highlights, a little bit of black, not too much. You don't want to overdo the black. It's a very, very strong color. So we only on the darkest areas of the drawing will you add black. So here we go, doing the same thing. A little bit of pinks on the seam. A little bit more of the lens flare. I used a little bit of orange, a bright pink for the lens flare. And on the sky, we add a base blue. Then we add lighter blues. Then we add a little bit of light pinks. And then very, very, very little pure white. Because you only want very... Very li when you add a little bit of pure white, it makes the drawing pop better. You don't want to oversaturate in pure white. Got a little burnt siennas, burnt umbers in there. Not too much. Just using it for the darker areas of the cloud. A little bit more white getting closer to the lens flare or the glare of the sun. And I work the sky first before I hit the buildings. So make sure you get that sky done. Blend it real, blend it real good. Here we go, adding some yellows where the sun is. You want to start off with white for the sun, then it transitions to yellow, then transitions to orange. Here we go, working on the docks, a few little boats in the water. Little cream colors, burnt siennas, a little bit of pinks, browns, kind of all mix those together. And there we go, it's a Superman hush. Click um, like and subscribe and notification bell, thanks.